Anyways, a while ago, I made the Diffie Experience, an intentionally annoying mod. And the mod adds a creature named Greg, who will hunt you down and try to assassinate you. Now at some point I realized that this mod wasn't annoying enough with only one creature, so I added another creature called Breg, who will act friendly, but is basically a horrible person, and no one likes him. Now the problem is that the mod still isn't annoying enough. I have to add something more. I just had this feeling that there was something missing, and then it came to me. This whole time, I have been missing one important factor. I remembered that to make a mod annoying, you can just make it really cluttered and full of random features that no one asked for. I mean, think about it. Every time you play a video game, or a Minecraft mod, or anything for that matter, that feels cluttered, it's always annoying. What do you do when your two annoying creatures aren't annoying enough? That's right, you add more creatures! Now at this point I was kind of out of ideas for creatures. So I thought to myself, where do you go when you want to find quality, functional ideas? The comment section! Everyone knows the comment section is a source of only the most quality ideas. It's perfect for making the mod cluttered, and therefore, more annoying. Now before using the comments for ideas, I used some ideas I already had from before. So first, let's add another creature. So I copy-pasted Greg's model, and gave him these, uh, hands with fingers. And also he's green. Now we just need a name for this creature. I thought you would name him Fred. Freg. Now while making this mob I thought to myself, I mean Greg hunts you down and instantly starts beating you to death. But what if there was a creature who instead of instantly killing you, killed you slowly and in a more uh, humiliating way. So Freg will spawn randomly, except instead of beating you, Freg will pick you up and uh, place you above a campfire and start cooking you. What? What the fuck? No! Now one creature obviously isn't enough. We need more. So off to the comments we go. Greg is a terrible name. Craig would be more fitting. Craig. Now when you have a hundred Gregs chasing you and trying to kill you, sure it's annoying, but you know, it feels like something is missing. What if he also poisoned you? Everyone loves getting poisoned in Minecraft. It's like the top 10 most fun things. So now, every time a Greg spawns, there's a small chance that a Craig will spawn instead and give you poison for 10 seconds. Why? Uh, because fuck you. Anyways, then we have Preg. The P in Preg comes from Propeller. Essentially, these little Preg heads will spawn on random places on the map. And if you go too close to the head, Preg will burst out of the ground and fly up into the sky using his propeller. Now you might be asking, Diffie, what? How the fuck is this supposed to make the game more annoying? Well, essentially, Preg will act like a drone and uh, follow you around in the sky and drop airstrikes on you every couple seconds. And now, we have Treg. One needs to be semi-invisible and act like a creeper but jump scares you and is 400 times louder. As the comment suggested, he's semi-invisible and will just camp around in random places and if you go too close to him, you'll sustain permanent ear damage. Now, here's why Treg is a necessary addition. By making the mod annoying, I mean, you're gonna annoy some people, but at the end of the day, they can just use the forbidden strat of just closing the game, and they won't be annoyed anymore. Now, if they get jump scared by Treg and sustain permanent ear damage, the annoyingness will follow them into the real world! It's genius! Leg. Yeah, this one's just a leg. The leg will pretty much do the same thing as Greg, except it will kick you. I don't know. JPEG. JPEG will act just like Greg, except it's a JPEG image of Greg. Now, why is this a necessary addition? Uh... It, listen. Now that we have all these creatures, I think it's safe to say that we've successfully made the mod more annoying. But it's not enough. How else can we make the mod more annoying? Well, first, we can bug fix. Now, hear me out, there's those kinds of glitches which do make the mod more annoying on their own, but there's also glitches that accidentally make the game easier, and we cannot leave these bugs in the game under any circumstances. Now, it just so happens that one of these glitches involves Breg. Fucking Breg. 
little sh**. Now, Bragg essentially has these tutorial screens that will manipulate you into banishing Greg to the underworld, resulting in a bad ending. Now, I don't know what kind of crack I was on when I implemented this. I mean, to, okay, to be fair, I don't know what kind of crack I was on when I added most of these features, but especially when it comes to Bragg. Like, I I accidentally made it so that Bragg teaches you the recipes needed to eliminate Bragg, not Greg. Essentially, Bragg guides you to a good ending. Like, how does that happen? What can I say? Quality mod. Okay, so anyways, I, I changed it so that it actually teaches you how to eliminate Greg, not Bregg. Now, if you want to make the mod feel more cluttered, we don't necessarily have to add more creatures, just add more annoying features. So I once again took to the comments. You should make Greg able to target and kill you in creative and spectator mode, so you're never safe. Oh, and also, you can now banish Freg to the underworld. The, but I, I feel like the real question is, why would you do that? Sounds like something a Bregg supporter would do. Classic Bregg supporter. Now, one factor we cannot forget is that we have to make this update seem meaningful. Because listen, if we just add a bunch of random features, like, the players are going to start suspecting that, hmm, what is the purpose of these features? And uh, we can't have them knowing that the mod is intentionally annoying, because that would just ruin the experience. So we have to make these additions seem meaningful. We have to give them meaning. So now, what you can do is get Greg's soul, get Bregg's soul, get Freg's soul, and Craig's soul, kill a leg for one of its toes, collect a JPEG, get a propeller blade by shooting down a Preg, and get a corrupted block. Now using these items, you can now craft the most powerful item, the Gauntlet of Greg. And uh, you can wear it on your head. Why? Uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so you might be wondering, what does this all-powerful item do? What powerful abilities does it grant the player? <laughs> what? Now, we also have to make sure that the player actually knows about the existence of this item to give them the illusion of these features actually serving a purpose. So I added another Bregg tutorial screen. Anyways, uh, again, download in the description. Please play.